lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com in the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ index increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Waging war on corruption, it's Alex Jones. You know, I said I'd get to the UN takeover of the internet. And a bunch of other news. I've got all the stacks here. I've only covered two stacks of like 15. Tomorrow, weekday show, I'm going to get into this internet thing big time. This is important. Because while we're busy watching the Russian thing, the Malaysian flight thing, all the rest of it, and Dancing with the Stars, whatever other folks watch, they are just seizing the infrastructure, the globalist are, that sit above the nations and play us off against each other. I hope they back off, but... If you read Zbigniew Brzezinski and others who are advising Obama, they've been wanting a tactical nuclear war with the Russians for a long time. And it's just a bad situation if it starts up. And it is a possibility. I'm not saying it's going to happen. Um, but most mainline anal analysts say this is more dangerous than anything in the Cold War. Because back then, the Russians were expanding. The Russians were bullies. The Russians were bad guys. The Russians are surrounded right now. And the West is trying to overthrow their government. It, it, and now they've got strong leaders and they're in a defensive stance. It's a serious situation. I mean, there's no words to describe it. Todd in Canada, you're on the air. We'll just cover this till the end of the show. Go ahead, Todd. Yeah, how you doing, Alex? I'm doing all right. Well, you guys are really screwing things up for me down there, man. I live part-time in Russia. My wife and uh, my family's over there. Uh, my father-in-law is uh, ex-military, Russian military. Uh, back during the Cold War years. And uh, I could tell you a lot of stories. Right now, they're just talking about um, doing economic sanctions against Europe and USA right now. No, I know the Russians are just talking about sanctions, but Kerry and others are talking about active military action in Crimea. Oh, yes, 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 I know. But uh, right now, on, on the Russian media there, that's all they're talking about. He's, they're not going into as far as what Russia is going to do from their side of the story. And they're also taking um, your average Russian on the street does not want a war, period. Yeah, I, I'm, an, I'm the average American. I don't want a war. And I mean, uh, and over there, like, uh, Russian kids, like, when they turn 18, they have to serve three years in the military. Mandatory. Mandatory service. Right now, they have a draft. They're not even waiting until they're 18. They're bringing them in, like, right now. 
So I don't know exactly what they're what they're doing or what exactly is going on there, but uh, it's looking pretty bad. All I know is in three months I got to fly into the eye of the storm, man. So interesting. God bless you, Todd. We're going to jump. No, the Russians are building up militarily, and the West is providing the pressure to build up that new enemy. Because again, when you put pressure on them, that gives Putin the power to build up a paramilitary and a, you know domestic force and a larger. Blue Water Navy, the, the new generation of missiles, all of it. It's just another Cold War. Just, uh, meanwhile, we're under Agenda 21, UN takeover. Victor in Tennessee, you're on the air. Thanks for holding. Hey. Hey, buddy. Uh, how you doing, man? I'm doing all right. What's your take on this, brother? Talk to you. Hey, look, uh, what I want to say is uh, I'm going to say banks, government, corporations, Trinity of tyranny. No fear, don't be afraid. You know, it, it is the uh, uh, military industrial complex that is taken over here, and uh, it's just happening. I mean, and I don't know how we're going to uh, uh, defend ourselves against this. No, no, I agree. It's special interests on all sides that make money off conflict instead of free market, instead of real things that help people. And they're going mean, to, there was a top British uh, analyst and government official, I forget his name, like two months ago came out and said, look, our governments are creating crises to stay in power and they're going to end up causing World War III. They, they are screwing things up on purpose. I appreciate your call. This is just out from Reuters. Top Russian journalist on state-run media has said, quote, in Reuters, we can turn your country into radioactive ash. And we'll put that back on screen uh, for folks that are watching us on television. But uh, anybody that's listening on radio uh, can just search engine that. There it is, uh, the uh, article, uh, again, for folks that would like to be able to uh, pull that up. It's uh, Russia can turn the U.S. to radioactive uh, ash, Kremlin-backed journalist. And so that's the type of uh, things that are coming out. Russia is the only country in the world that is realistically capable of turning the United States to radioactive ash. Television presenter Dmitry, if you pronounce his name right, Kizilov said on his weekly current affairs show, that guy was putting power over that channel by Vladimir Putin. So that's basically Putin speaking through a proxy. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Daniel in Wisconsin. Thanks for holding her on the air. Welcome. Yes, Alex. I was in ADA when I was in the military protecting the uh, West Germany from uh, Russian East, uh, West, uh, East Germany. And uh, in other words, it's the same outfit now that the Democrats and others have uh, laughed because uh, they're trying to say, you know, what we said, yeah, we can hit a missile with a missile, give us some money, we'll develop the missile. And they said, well, that's like hitting a bullet with a bullet. Well, these people never shot trap, they never shot ducks, never shot anything. It's a matter of math mathematics. Of course we can do it, and we proved it. But so what did Obama do? Devastated the generals, devastated middle, uh, middle uh, uh, officers, and even a lot of sergeants that don't walk lockstep with uh, uh, Obama. That's another great point. They've been purging the military of the best commanders from the highest brass on down. What do you think's going on here? Holy smokes, I'm going to tell you the truth. I really don't know. And the threat of uh, uh, Putin with, uh, through uh, uh, Kerry, what? What if Putin comes back and says, guess what, uh, Obama? Tell Obama how's he going to uh, go to the uh, space station. And um, we're good friends with China. We're going to purchase uh, a lot of their debt that you own for 50 cents on a dollar, and then we're going to demand it. What's going to happen then? Well, it's, it's basically the new world order that runs the U.S. acting out. They're in a corner now with all their fraud and corruption. So they're trying to start a fight as a diversion. Great points. You're right. It's well, just it's, it's, it's just general craziness. I mean, the wicked flee when none pursue, as the Bible says, and the globalists that run this country in Europe, they're just trying to start a new war so they can shut down their political competition. Let's talk to Cole in South Carolina. You're on the air, Cole. Hey, Alex. Uh, thanks for having me on. Um, I agree with most of what is being said tonight, but I, I disagree, and, and I did a blog. It's called Americans Must Grow Up Over U.S. Foreign Policy. And this is about dollar destabilization. I mean, it's a lot more than that. But uh, BRICS, as you know, all these nations that hold part of our debt plan to dump the dollar. 
And if because the Federal Reserve has been devaluing it. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I mean, I, everything that you say, I more or less agree. No, with. I mean, I'm not saying BRICS is good either. That's what I mean. But I mean, the globalists are the prime mover. They're the one doing it all. Yeah, I understand, and I, I agree with that. I just what on my blog, I just talk about how really the the game has changed, and and right now we pretty much have a golden gun to our head. Uh, quote, uh, I don't know James Bond movie. I, I didn't like that movie, but you know because they're gold is. You know, as you know, uh, China has 8% or 8 they They're ranked 8th in the world's... Uh, That's right. Now. The Chinese, the Russians, the University of yeah. Texas, all big institutions are hoarding gold. And we're sitting on top of a big global uh, pile of fake derivatives that the globalists want to use our nuclear weapons to enforce the world to accept as they keep devaluing it. And, and, and so it's, it's just all coming towards a crisis. And we don't know what that crisis will be. This could be it. We hope it isn't. I appreciate your call. I mean, look... My interest is just survival. I just want to have a free country. I want to go forward into the future. But all these crises are coming to a head. Hassam, I think I'm pronouncing that right, in Holland. What's your take on all this quickly? Hassam. Hassam from Holland. Okay, go ahead, sir. Hi, you get the greetings from uh, Holland. Go ahead, you're on the air. Oh, I think this is very, very bad for uh, Europe, but also for uh, Germany. But I would like to say another news, actually, which is, uh, do you remember uh, George Zimmerman and Trayvon Martin? Yes. Yeah. I, do you know George Zimmerman said it was God's plan? You know, I don't know. I'm not on that subject right now. I appreciate your call, though. We're almost out of time here. I'll be back tomorrow, uh, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central, the weekday show. We'll discuss this more. Mark in Texas, another veteran. You're going to take us out. Sorry to all the other callers. We're out of time. Mark, what's your take on Ukraine briefly? Ukraine is we need to mind our own business. Ukraine, by the way, the western part of the Ukraine actually belonged to the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And the east always belonged to, pretty much always belonged to Russia. Um, the other thing is three things can come out of this. Three bad things. One, the least, would be another Cold War, which is bad enough. The other is a conventional war, which we could lose hundreds of thousands of American soldiers and God knows how many other people. The third possibility is a thermonuclear war. So these neocons and these other globalists better shut their mouth and stop it already. That's I think that's a great way to end the show. God bless you. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. I mean, look, I don't, I'm not following George Soros into war with Russia. You need to put him back in the time machine, send him back to the Nuremberg trials where he deserved to be. See you back tomorrow. Great job, crew. Pray for peace. Pray that we don't have nuclear war. Pray for justice. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today.